Hi everyone, welcome to this video. So you are finally here after that clickbait thumbnail. Yes, so as you already saw into that thumbnail, here we are going to buy a VPS in $1. To be precise, it is 0 0.75 rupees, but it just deducts one rupees from your account. So still that's pretty good deal for a VPS. All right. So let me just take you on the tour of how can you set up your VPS. First of all, this is not a promotional video. I just came across this service and yes, it is legit. It works. So I thought of why not making a video for everyone in the community so that they can utilize it. Now, some of the things that you need to keep in mind, this VPS is only for one month. So you can utilize it for a month in one rupee. The configuration is 2 GB RAM, you have 30 GB of disk space and you have 2 terabytes of network disk which means you can send data packets worth 2 TB, not more than that. Okay, So this is the website which is interserver.net wherein you have to come onto this endpoint which is VPS. Just go in Cloud VPS, click on VPS Home and you are here. Just select the configuration that you want in the black friday offer that they are giving they are giving the minimum configuration in a rupee so it doesn't matter which configuration you select you're going to be on to the basic configuration which is this one so let me just click over there and click on buy now all right so once you are here onto this website you need to sign up so let me just quickly sign up and agree create account okay so it does not allow special characters let's sign up again okay so it says need the email confirmation code let me just quickly complete this all right so we have successfully created our account let's go back to vps all right so we have successfully created our account as you can see here, I am successfully logged in into my account right now. Now, let me just close this and come back over here. So now, as you can see, after the account creation process, you need to come to the screen. You will automatically get redirected over here. Here you can choose the host name. So just choose any host name that you want. For example, server.bugbountyboxes.com. Choose a root password. Remember, this is the password which you will use to log in into the portal. So remember this password and the most important thing which is this coupon code which is grab penny G R A B P E W N Y and you need to proceed. Now as I have already used this coupon code it says it's only for new clients so I cannot use it now but you can use it obviously. So let me just go into a incognito window and let me show you. All right, so now we are successfully logged in into our account and you can see onto the right hand side the VPS information, one slice, which means one VPS, memory, uh, as I said, memory, as I said, two GB, storage 30 GB, transfer of 2000 GB, which is two TB, and uh, the price you can see $6. So, so let's just use the coupon code. As you can see over here, we have used the coupon code and the price has decreased to US dollar 0 0.01. You can choose any host name that you want. You can choose any root password that you want and you can go ahead. As you can see, the price has decreased to 0 0.01. So you can just proceed to the next steps and go ahead with the payments. In the payment section, I saw there was UPI section as well and card. So I choose to use the UPI section because I did not want it to save my card details onto the server. So I've just used the UPI to complete the payment and it was successful. All right, so let's come back over here now. Let me show you my account. So this is my account, which I have successfully logged in. And you can see the amount which is paid is 0 0.75, but the amount that I paid was one rupee. And it took me around 20 minutes to spin up the server and it's now successfully ready and active. As you can see over here, it is running and it is active. 
So how to connect to the server? It's simple. You will receive the details into your mail, as you can see over here. First, I received the mail in which the IP was not assigned, but just after a few minutes, I got an IP address and then I can easily connect to the server using SSH or putty, whatever you want. The username is root. The password is the same password that you have utilized to create the account. All right, so let's quickly connect and let's see how does it looks like. So let me just connect and verify if this works. Yeah, as you can see, I have successfully logged in into my account right now and it works perfectly fine. And I can use this for scanning, for fuzzing, for brute forcing, subdomain takeovers, whatever you like to do, JS enumeration or anything that you want to do onto a target server. And remember, you can install the screen command over here so that your sessions do not get terminated when you close this window or when your laptop dies or when your internet dies. So just make sure you install the screen command. So let me show you how you can do that. As you can see over here, screen is already installed. Perfect. So let me just clear the screen and type the command screen and hit enter. So when you will hit enter, you will be able to see this help usage menu. Just press enter and now we are into one of the screen mode. So let me just write a command. Let's ping Google and I want this task to keep on running. So I'll just hit enter and you can see it is running. Let me just detach the screen using control A and D. Remember control A and D is used to detach from the screen. As you can see, this screen has been successfully detached. Now, if you want to see the connected screen sessions, just type the command screen hyphen LS and you will be able to see there is a screen which has been successfully detached. Now, as this has been detached, if I close my terminal right now, I can still connect and I can still get the service back. Let me show you how. So let me just copy the IP address and let's again log in to the server. Let me just close this session and let me quickly authenticate with my password. Okay, so I have logged in through my password. Just type screen hyphen ls. If you want to connect back to the screen, just type the command screen hyphen r to reattach to the screen again and the screen number, which is 749 and hit enter. And you will be able to see whatever the previous session you left, you will just come to the same session, which means your task is still running and it will never get ended. This is very helpful when you want to run some good fuzzing task or you want to scan a target which has a big scope or a large scope. At that time, you can just run the scanner, go to sleep, wake up in the morning and check the results for you. So I hope you guys understood how you can utilize this, how it can be helpful for you at least for a month. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new for more upcoming cool tips and tricks. Also, one big announcement that we have slashed our prices for all of our cybersecurity courses on this Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. You can go on to our website, which is learn.hactify.in and you will be able to see that there are huge discounts on our courses as well as bundles and memberships. As you can see over here, we have made our six course platinum bundle at only $20. Also, if you're interested in purchasing individual courses, we have also decreased the prices of each course to $4. So at the end guys, happy hacking, happy learning. Thank you.